Right, this fire has been burning to the best of our knowledge for at least an hour and a half. Started sometime around 3.15, 3.30. Farmers say despite the drought this year, somehow they were able to harvest a pretty decent cotton crop. In fact, they're pleased with it. But next year, that's what they're concerned about. They say unless they get some decent rainfall, they're afraid next year could be a disaster. Here on Highway 285, you can see the marks in the road. This is a hot spot where coyotes come and pick up illegal immigrants. They hop the fence. You can see it's damaged. You can even see the footprints of illegal immigrants. Check out the size of the holes in this windshield. They show you just how big the hailstones were from this storm that rained down, causing damage in Benavides. The Eagle Ford Shale has generated a constant flow of traffic through downtown Three Rivers with trucks traveling these roads all day and night. But these small town roads weren't built to handle this kind of wear and tear. The concern is that an all-out gang war has erupted and that a bloodbath is going to ensue. I mean, what's going to make this thing stop? The cops ain't doing anything. No, it's, uh, it ain't going to stop, man. It's going to keep going. It's like a game. Can there be a truce? Can there be peace in Alice? What will it take? Do you have anything to say? Any comment? Why'd you do it? Please open up! The city passed an ordinance. It's open to the public. Please open the door. Mike DeSilva, Channel 3 News. Ma'am, 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 can we talk to you? <laughs> ma'am, can we talk to you? Ma'am. <laughs> Are you planning on uh, closing anytime soon? Yes. When? Today. Today's your last day? Yes. It was last September that that armed robbery happened at the Stardust game room on Highway 44. And it was around that time after that happened, the sheriff said, you know what? I'm going to shut them all down. He sent out letters warning game room operators that he was going to shut them down if they were breaking the law. And sure enough, they all shut down voluntarily. Well, now, less than four months later, the city council voting last night to open them back up. And so, boom, here you have it. This one moved in today. How does it feel to be found out guilty? And what do you have to say to the public and your students and everyone that was rooting for you? I'm just, I'm glad this is over. I'm going to go spend time with my family. Thank you. Praise God, we serve an awesome God. At this grain elevator, what used to be a grain elevator, however, strong winds in this storm have utterly destroyed it. I mean, take a look. The winds have twisted and bended the metal. I mean, it's just, it's basically a flooded area at this point. It, it's all muddy and it's, it's like a swamp. Now, take a look, just to give you guys a sense. I mean, this pipe, for example. I mean, this thing is un movable but this is this is this is how heavy these things are and can you imagine how strong the winds must have been to blow all of this all over the place actually we did not get a chance to ask many questions i'm going to send it back to you joe katya is the governor right is, behind is you he is he near you yeah. he he's right he's right behind me i can i'll, I'll try one time um governor uh, just a quick question for you um because you do oppose Washington spending and President Obama's policies, why not run for office in 2012, presidential run? Um, I'm really interested in moving the power out of Washington, D.C. back to the state. So I hope someone will run and try to make Washington as inconsequential as they can. And uh, the states are where uh, the action should be. And uh, our effort will be to... Uh, try to make that so. So why would you want to go to Washington if it's going to be inconsequential? Right. What about the bill that was passed today, the compromise between President Obama and Republicans in the Senate? Um, you know, I haven't looked at the, uh, the details, but my instinct is that uh, it's a little give, it's a little take. Most important thing is they keep the, uh, uh, these uh, tax credits to give people incentives to create jobs. Uh, the, uh, the unemployment comp uh, is uh, 13 months is a long time, uh, but uh, hopefully uh, getting people back to work where they don't need unemployment comp is our goal. Okay, would you have voted for it? Um, you know, again, uh, asking me if I'd vote for something I haven't really seen is a, is a little bit out of the ordinary. So, Thank you, Governor. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, appreciate it. Joe Katia, back to you. Mike De Silva at first. He wouldn't talk, and now he'll talk, talk to you. Great job, Mike. <laughs> Teach you in a submission. <laughs> You want to put some more computer games on? The video posted online by Hillary Adams showing her father an Aransas County judge beating her is shocking. Three News went to the Aransas County Courthouse seeking answers from the judge. At the courthouse, we saw these signs on the front doors. 
reading that the jury for county court at law judge William Adams had been canceled. Then we knocked on his office door, but it was closed and locked. Here at the Aransas County Courthouse is where defendants have to face Judge William Adams. But on the day where he needed to face the public and answer questions about his behavior, he was nowhere to be found. Down the hall, the secretary for the Aransas County judge says the courthouse has been inundated with angry calls, even death threats. County Judge C.H. Burt Mills Jr. has known and worked with Judge Adams for years. He calls the video disturbing. Observing him in court, uh, you would never think that he had it in kind of temper. My observation. No. I've had attorneys say he's got a temper, but I, I don't observe him all the time. Neighbors are also shocked by the behavior they witness in the video. Um. You know, he's been cordial to me, you know. Um, I would have never thought it disgusts me. Neighbors and colleagues say they have never seen anything in Judge Adams' past to point to something like this. Now all that is left are many unanswered questions by those who knew him. And many who don't know the judge struggle to understand how anyone could act like this. Are you happy? Huh? Disobeying your parents? See what it'll do? Is it fun to disobey your mom and dad? No. Huh? No. You don't deserve to be in this house. <laughs> Disobedient. What happened to you, Hillary? <laughs> Once you were an obedient, nice little girl. Now you lie, cheat, and steal. Mike DeSilva, 3 News. <laughs>